hi everyone so uh, today we will discuss uh, how to create the ck editor in the local system right so uh, so we have all i have already written one uh, blog on the medium right so we will follow through the same and i will add the link in the uh, description also right uh, so to do that first we need to create an application so uh, for that we can just simply run the you know angular installation command so you can uh, run these few command and you know we would be able to create the sample angular project so i have already done so you can see this is the project uh, which i have created and uh, uh, let's uh, run it to the local host uh, so now you can see the uh, the angular project is created now so let me remove the whatever we have inside and uh, then same do with the you know the css file okay we do not have a css file mm. okay so now we will follow through the you know uh, this uh, uh, blog tutorial so let me install the ck editor first and just copy the ck editor file also uh, so now we have installed those uh, uh, library package so now we will follow the uh, uh, same ck editor so uh, now we have to copy this uh, uh, piece of code into the html so i have already copied this code so now you can see that uh, i have copied the same piece of code here and then after we have to update the logic uh, in the component.ts so you can see this piece of code right that uh, we need to update in the uh, component.ts so this is the actor component.ts so i have updated or uh, then you have to import uh, this feature from the you know the ck editor file all the uh, the toolbar which we want to show right so unbolded or bold italic that everyone will come from here and the plugin also will come from here plugin will come from here so uh, toolbar this is just the string uh, so i'm sorry for that and in the app.model.ts we have to import the secretor mo uh, secretor module if you if you are watching this later and you know angular 17 come with the standalone feature right so this you have to import in the app.component.ts itself here uh, uh, so after this uh, you have to add the you know the styling also so maybe come down and uh, you will see that i have uh, added the css file also in the global css file and this what i was talking about the importing the model so in the style.css i have imported the secretor 5.css and now uh, once we run the application right so uh, you would be able to see that uh, uh, now the editor is coming into the picture yeah, so now you can see and you know you can do the some action also uh, so i will uh, i will uh, come with one more tutorial there i will add uh, some extra i will use some extra plugin and then you know the toolbar and this is the custom plugin that we will also discuss that how we, you can create the you know the custom plugin and so the toolbar related to that uh, so this is for the today i hope you enjoy the tutorial uh, I will see you in the next tutorial.